Hi everyone, this is Sybil. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another installment of Christmas in Summer. And this is a fun collaboration that is hosted by Don H. Creates. And there are several of us participating, so if you open up the description box on my video, you will see the links to all the channels as well as a few ladies that are participating on Instagram. I know there's quite a few. So, um, you know, just take your time and go through the list as you desire. Um, if it takes you several hours or several days, that's fine. We would love for you to watch our videos and give us a thumbs up and then also subscribe. So I hope that you will do that with my video. I hope you will enjoy this. Our theme this week is dies, die cutting or paper punches. And so I have a few cards and some tags that I've made and I'm super excited to share them with you. Also, I do have a giveaway and I will share that with you at the end of this video. So, um, my first bunch of goodies here that I made are tags and I use the paper tray ink tag. It's a bell tag, it has the word joy and there's two parts, the solid part and then this cut out part. So you can make a shaker with this and then it has the um, holly and the berries there or ivy, ivy and berries, is it holly? Holly berries, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, share with you several dies and I will try my best to put the names of all the dies down in the description box as well. So they will be under, you'll have to scroll way down, they'll be under all the channel links and Instagram links. Okay, so this is a tag. And so I'm going to be adding like twine to it. And I've got to and from on the back. So it's fairly simple, I used oxide inks to ink up the background there and it says joy and then I've put enamel dots and I just put a bow on that one so you could see you can really decorate these a lot you know add lots of beautiful embellishments but this is the first time me using this die and I believe I purchased it last year so I really like that one that's pretty and then here's another one and I used an embossing folder that gave the paper a tufted look. And then I put um, diamond stickles in the center of all of those little squares. And here's the last one. So they're fairly simple and you just, you've got an opening there and you can just put the little ringer, just tuck it inside. So I did make several more, but I just thought I would share those four with you. And then I made a real fun and simple, clean and simple card. And I used this die set with the matching um, stamps. And it's also from Paper Tray Ink. It's called Shape Up Snowman Accessories Stamp Set. And then, like I said, it has the dies. So this was a fun little um, easy peasy card to make because the die cuts out the snowman, the big shape of the snowman. Then you've got the little um, cutouts here to do the sticks, you know, the stick arms and hands. And then I used oxide inks for the hat. And then I just put diamond stickles here and there to give it like a little snowfall effect. And then up here I cut a couple little banners out of some paper. And then it says snow fun and I put three brads but I took the backs off the brads so that way I could just hot glue them there and then I added a button with the snowman I think it's so cute and then on the inside some snowman paper and then it says bundle up and that way I can write my sentiment there for my next two cards I used um, several dies on one of the cards, I use this paper tray ink, have a holly jolly Christmas die on the inside of the card. And then on the other one, 
I use this one, May Your Days Be Merry and Bright, also paper tray ink. I used some of these dies here, Joyful Wishes and Merry Christmas. And then these Sizzix dies, really beautiful trees. And I used alcohol ink and created some backgrounds. So this one has like the blue and the greens, really beautiful background. I just love it. And then I also um, touched on the paper while the alcohol ink was still wet with some foil and then lifted it off. And I'm not sure, there you can see it, the foil there. It's really neat. It's like little veins of foil. And then I cut out the trees and um, I cut cut them out twice so there's two layers of trees here to make them nice and thick and there it says Merry Christmas and then have a holly jolly Christmas and then this one and that's really pretty I used a lot more foil on that one and there are the trees there that you can see joyful wishes there's the inside so there are those um, cards now for my last two cards. I'm so excited about these cards, you guys. I loved making these cards. So let me share with you first that I used this Sizzix Tattered Poinsettia die first time ever using it. I've had it for years and I've never used it before. But I watched a video that I watched many years ago from Jan Gray where she shares how to, um, you know, really make these poinsettias come to life, if you will. So I followed her tutorial to a certain degree. I did use spun sugar and Victorian velvet oxide inks on those flowers. I wanted pink poinsettias. And then I went over with Distress Crackle Paint in Clear Rock Candy, and then I added diamond stickles and sprinkled diamond dust on top of that. So these are like chunky, it's real chunky glitter, um, almost looks like glass, it's so beautiful. And then I used a few more dies on these cards. Penny Black, Silent Night, Creative Basics, I used the large die there, and Tiny Fawns from, is it? poppy stamps. So this is my first card. And that is such a pretty, pretty card. I love this card, you guys. I love how it turned out. So first, let me tell you about the card. It's a large card base. I wanted to make sure I had enough room for that large poinsettia there. And then I uh, put some paper, MFT paper. I think it's some poolside for my mat. And then this pretty paper back here with the Christmas trees and the deer and the snow falling. That is from My Mind's Eye. And then I um, cut out Sparkle and Shine die and I no longer have that die. So I cut that out last year, last holiday season. And I put diamond stickles on it. I added some pretty pink posh sequins in pink and in clear. And then I added this 25 for you know Christmas Day. Put the little tiny deer there. So I popped up the 25 and then I cut the deer out in chipboard and then um, did gold on the top. So really pretty. And then I added little diamond stickles, just little touches here and there. So you'll see the sparkles from the sequins and now, let's talk about those gorgeous poinsettias. Didn't they turn out so pretty? Oh my goodness, I hope my camera is doing them justice because they just sparkle with that diamond dust. And um, so I you know, cut them out several times, so you got the three layers, then I cut out the large flower one my, more time, and then used my oxide inks and two different greens for the leaves and then cut those leaves apart and just hot glued them here and there. And then I put a small one there up in the top 
And then on the inside, it says, Happy Holidays to you and yours. And there's that LDRS die. So there's that one. And then my second one, same paper. I did the matting. Um, I did a different blue, a softer blue for my mat. And then this paper with the church there, it's really, really pretty. It's got trees back here and then has the little dots for snow falling. And it has a deer over here, but I covered it up with my poinsettia. And then I added, oh, I forgot to bring out that. Um, but this is a Simon Says Stamp die for the star, because that's what Christmas is all about, Christ's birth. And then there's that beautiful silent night. I cut that out several times, just like I did with the sparkle and shine, um, and glued all the layers together, and then did diamond stickles on top of it. And then I added little teeny tiny dots of diamond stickles. Oh, I forgot to share on the other card. See that little snowflake? There's three snowflakes like that on the card. There's another one there, and then one up in the corner. This one has it too. And there's the poinsettia again, and then the same sentiment on the inside. So thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my um, project shares using a bunch of dies for the holidays and I had so much fun making these cards with alcohol ink backgrounds using new dot new to me dies or first time I should say using dies the poinsettia dies so Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Before you go, I want to remind you that I am having a giveaway for these two La La Land Crafts Luca, Christmas Sweater Luca, and Cool Beans Luca. And all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel, live in the U.S. because shipping is so expensive outside of the U.S. As well as please like, and I did mention be a subscriber and um, leave a comment on my video. Thank you all for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.